This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes and welcome back to another exciting build from the good folks from Bandai Japan. So why don't we get things started with the 160th scale ARX7 version 4 Arbalus from the anime series Full Metal Panic. And without further ado, let's get to it. Hello and welcome back my dudes and dudettes to another exciting build from the good folks from Bandai. Now, before I embark into the real great adventure of model kits, I want to focus on a model kit that definitely doesn't get any kind of foreign representation while at the same time trying to get comfortable of building smaller kits. And thus, I will be embarking into the 160th scale ARX7 Arbalus. Now back in early 2002, I do recall that Kotobukiya did make their version of the Arbalest, but I didn't have any interest in building any model kits back in the day, I was focusing on my art career. Fast forward literally 19 years later, Bendai does their version of it and it looks absolutely stellar. Everything down to weapon accessories while giving a good glimpse on what you can expect from the Landa Driver feature for the backpack unit, as well as an assortment of action poses that you can put this model kit in. For something that's this small, it's absolutely remarkable. As for the other side, the box art gives you a good glimpse of the main characters of the series which is Konami, Chidori, and Sosuke Sagara. While at the same time giving you a nice representation of the mech from the front and back side, and at the same time giving you a small glimpse of other mechs you can purchase in the series. Now, this kit looks great, but these particular high grade kits do not have any clear pieces for the eyes. So, I did some digging and I found out that Bendai actually did a clear variation of this model kit. And thus we have the clear variant of Arbalus, which I like to call Crystal Pepsi version because I only want to focus on one clear part of this model kit and that is the eyes, since the original version doesn't have it. So I'll try to take what I need for this model kit and then if I have some spare time, I'll just put the guy inside, which I absolutely love. So in a funny way, I'm actually building two kits at the same time, both actually having the exact same runners, sharing the exact same instructions how to put this guy together. So what can we expect inside the box? Right off the bat, you're happily greeted with the instruction manual, which is nice and clean, giving you that beautiful illustration of Arbalus. While in the very back, there's no color chart to do any custom panel lining, no custom painting. It gives you a pretty much broad layout on what you can expect for runners in this model kit. Now as for the first page, gives you a good understanding of what weapon accessories that you can expect from this unique mech, while at the same time giving you a clean diagram on how to construct it and how to use the accessories correctly, which I find that really, really nice. As for the rest entire kit instructions, it's pretty straightforward. How to take the things apart, how to put things together, how to install the landed driver feature for this model kit, I absolutely love that. First runners up, you're going to get a small assortment of yellow pieces which are going to be used for the shoulders as well as the Vulcan cannons that are on top of the mobile suit's head, while at the same time you get a small small assortment of white pieces for the whole entire kit, followed by sea blue pieces for the forearms, legs, and a small, small assortment of sticker decals for the eyes, as well as I believe it's for an ammo compartment for the back part of its hips. And then we have the final runners behind it are the inner frame pieces, as well as the weapon attachments. And behind that weapon attachments are these nice soft sea blue gray pieces for the round things up. Now before I get started on doing any kind of form of custom painting, I need to evaluate, just double check to see if there's any kind of clear pieces for this model kit. And unfortunately, high grade kits do not have clear eye pieces because these are entry level model kits. And the closest thing that Bendai can give you is these clear sticker pieces for the eyes and I don't want to do that. So that was the main reason why I looked all over on eBay and found a clear variation of this model kit. The downside with this variation, it is expensive, but you know what, it's definitely worth the purchase if I really want to make this guy as anime accurate as possible. So with this method, I was originally going to use uh, the original sticker decals for this model kit and hollow out the eyes so that way I can stick them onto the clear piece like a Zorro mask. But since these sticker decals are so darn small, I opted out to using some Tamiya masking tape as an alternative method. So I'm going to be applying the masking tape onto the clear surface while using an X-Acto blade to superimpose the area and then cut them out. And then once I got the right kind of look I want, then I'm going to hit it with a flat black and then get started doing custom painting.
just got one thing on my mind Uh-huh, baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine Turn my life around, wow So where? Oh, 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 oh,
As this video is wrapping up, I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this model kit. Now, just to get it out of the way, this kit was phenomenal. Now, you dudes and dudettes know me for building perfect grades to 1 100th scale to 1 20th scale or maybe something a little bit more smaller in between, like a high grade kit. But I never really delve into, into the realm of building something close to like a 144 scale. So there's only so much I can build in the master grade library to the point where I'll run out of things to build. So I feel that this kit was an excellent candidate to try something smaller while at the same time try to experiment on what I can really do for customization. So let's get into it, shall we? 
Now, first and foremost, the one thing I love about this model kit is its articulation. There is great range of articulation with the arms and the legs and the hip area. It, it's not on a ball joint for the abdomen area. It's like an interconnected piece that works great when you're doing front and side to side crunches. And there's no ball joint for the feet as well. It's on a different kind of like swivel mechanic. And I absolutely love that. There's great articulation with the legs. And overall for something this small with that much detail, I think it's really Really, really great and there's a great deal of heft to it when it's fully assembled and then the head rotation is great it's on a ball joint which gives you great range of movement between looking up down left and right it's pretty darn solid as for the weapon accessories this is where the kit kind of like won me over there's nothing super over the top design wise it's very simple easy to follow and you shouldn't have any problems putting these little pieces together so I'm pretty sure there's a handful of you dudes into this that are asking yourself, I want to get this kit, but what does it mean with 160 of scale? Is this something close to a perfect great size quality? Unfortunately, that's where the confusion kind of ends because this kit is nowhere close to a 160 of scale. It's close to a 144. So here's a good representation. 144 scale, roughly, and a proper 160 of scale perfect grade. The difference is it's clearly night and day. So that should help alleviate the confusion for you dudes and dudes out there that want to pick up this little guy. But if there was one thing I really wanted from this model kit, I wish there were some kind of form of water slide decals. Fortunately enough for me, I had some spare ones lying around for my Verka kit of the Gundam Thunderbolt. Should dudes and do that, should check out that video. And it worked absolutely great. So the big question is, is this kit worth the purchase? I'm happy to tell you, it absolutely is. So, I would say check this kit out. If you're a fan or not of Full Metal Panic, you will not be disappointed. And with that being said, thank you dudes and dudes for watching this video. If you guys want to see more and still be up to date with more content, please hit that like and share and hit that bell. And I will see you dudes and dudes on the next video. Later.